so much for that question. We also have a question from Beatriz Borges from CEPA. She's not in the room, but she sent it online, and we'll have our Wafuna team member uh, read the question on behalf of her. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this past week, the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ms. Michelle Belche, released a scathing report that show, shows a severe humanitarian crisis and the generalized and systematic violations of human rights by the Venezuelan regime. Peru has been an advocate of the return to democracy in Venezuela and an important leader in proposing solutions to the crisis. What are your reactions after the release of this report? Thank you. Thank you so much for the questions, Ambassador. Thank you very much. As you all know, uh, the issue of Venezuela is of utmost importance for, for, for Peru. We have been uh, working with our partners in the region to highlight at the international level the scope of the economic, political, social, humanitarian, and human rights crisis in Venezuela. So, so Peru's position is extremely clear in that. Uh, point we have uh, been also we have intervened at the council and we have stressed the that uh, this uh, situation is a risk to international peace and security because of the extension the impact for the whole region we have also mentioned several times the impact of the exodus no in, in neighboring countries I, I have no need to repeat the figure but you know that more than four million Venezuelans flew the country because of this. And we in Peru, we have already more than 800,000 Venezuelans. So uh, the contribution Peru has made is, is double. No? One, uh, highlighting at the international level the, the scope of this and the risks of this uh, situation. And secondly, receiving generously uh, the Venezuelan people that were fleeing, fleeing their, the country. And we will continue doing so. And we think that, that it was very important at the council level to discuss the issue we have discussed. But also we are clear that there is no uh, common position. There are certain countries that consider that uh, this is an internal issue. No? But more and more, I think the international community is more aware that this is a huge risk. Uh, we have been working with, as I mentioned, with our partners in the Lima Group, Peru Chair of the Lima Group. And then we have had contacts very recently, a few months ago, with the International Contact Group here in New York in order to complement each other. I think we, we have common points. One, one is the uh, issue of the humanitarian situation. We need to do more in terms of the humanitarian situation in Venezuela. Second, we need to press and stress for uh, having urgent free and fair elections in Venezuela. We both, the both groups agree on that. And third, we need to involve other actors. You know? So we are talking, both groups are talking with other actors, not only the ones that are against the, the regime, but also some countries that support the regime. So I think we, and Peru, will be organizing on the, uh, on the month of August in Lima an international conference on the situation in Venezuela. And we have invited uh, countries that we have uh, uh, relations, no? so it's different uh, from different regions and with different positions. The idea is to discuss frankly how the situation in Venezuela is what are the risks and what are the possibilities. And we, there, there will be a broad discussion, and also we have invited the president of the Inter-American Development Bank in order to as, present us the assessment of the challenges on the economic and social and the reconstruction that will be needed to reconstruct this uh, important country and neighboring and friendly country of Peru. Thank you.